They caught my wife and they sold him. But I don't know who to. Calvin Candy. He owns the fourth biggest cotton plantation in Mississippi, Candyland. That's where your wife is. Jingles just want his girl, and he does something about it. Let's get to it. Jamie's perfect in this role. He's the perfect, courageous cowboy out for, out for love. What's your name, boy? His name is Django Freeman. Hmm. I've heard tell about you. I heard you've been telling everybody that Mandingo's ain't no damn good. Ain't nothing nobody is selling is worth buying. I'm curious. What makes you such a Mandingo expert? I'm curious what makes you so curious. When I saw what Jamie was doing, you know, it's it's a, a wonderful characterization. What did you say, boy? Calm down, Butch. No offense given. None taken. He's done a wonderful job of bringing a strong, sort of silent character that speaks when he needs to speak and acts when he needs to act. What was interesting was that how do you play the slave? A person who can't read. How do you go all the way back and allow the ghosts of slaves or ancestors to speak to you? What's your name? Django. And Quentin challenged me on that. First time we went into rehearsal, I was like, no, I want to say it like this, and I want to say it. And I was really putting me in the character. And he pulled me to the side. He says, this is what I was worried about. And grabbing someone like you, can you actually play a slave? And it hit me like, wow, he's questioning me, like, you know. And that made me work harder. So I made sure that every time I stepped in there, I gave up to it. I have to say, I was pretty taken with Jamie. He really got what I was trying to do. He understood the story I was trying to tell. He knew what this movie could be. He knew what this movie could mean to his children. You know, the next generation of black kids growing up are gonna grow up in a world where Django Unchained already exists. It could even be a rite of passage as far as watching it is concerned. And he's a great cowboy. I would call the man who had me kill another man in front of his son, and he didn't bat an eye. You remember that? Yeah, of course I remember. What you said was, was that this is my world. And in my world, you gotta get dirty. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting dirty. 